This is his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Quillen Salke. Ladies and gentlemen, Quillen Salke. Quillen Salke. Quillen Salke. Quillen Salke. Quillen Salke. Salkill took this on three days notice, so what a champion coming to fight. Three days notice mate. from Perth. And making the flight over. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, here we that's go! In. That's, that's in! in. That's he's deep. grabbed his oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, he's deep! Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. Oh, wow. What an amazing performance! Wow. Are you not entertained? Wow. What a comeback. You know, this is this is my whole life, you know, I don't you know, I don't know nothing else. I don't. I don't have any other other skills. I just train and compete full time. There's nothing else I do really. Stefan's in a lot of trouble out. here. I think we're going to see a tap here. A fight. A it's fight. Over. You see a fight. And that fight goes to Kellen Sakhir. Excellent finish. Technical there. The blue corner. Quillen Sakhir. I want to get in there ASAP. You know, I want to. Defeat all the, the top 10 lightweights in Australia, get the eternal belt, and then go to the UFC. You know, I want to pretty much clear out my backyard, as they say, before I go to the big leagues. Let's go, Quillen! Oh, nice punch. Oh, he's there! He's there! We've got a new champion! You know, I'm not out here trying to cherry pick my opponents. You know, I'll take anybody at any time. The mustache is undefeated for first <laughs> round KO. You know, I can't wait till one day to, you know, to pay them back to, to give back to everyone that's helped me because, you know, it's uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without them. Thank you for, for backing me and I'll, I'll make everyone proud. Try and get the technique right first. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, you shoot a double leg. Boom, here. Partner cross faces you onto the inside, now you're on a single leg. Then you're going to go to the other side for another double. He cross faces you again, then you're on a single, back onto a double, cross face back onto a single. Those that are new, just try and, yeah, just watch everyone else when you're with your partner. Just try and figure it out. Those that have done it before, will get to work, all right? Um, wrestling is probably the hardest class that this gym runs, guys, so just do what you can, all right? Everyone grab a partner, someone around your size, and let's start drilling. Double, single, single, double. <laughs> Put your mind into the drill. Think about it as the real thing. Make sure you bend your legs. Posture is the key. I don't want anyone looking at the ground. Always head up, chest up, back straight. Bend the legs. Us. All right, let's go. Ready. He's just so you know beloved by by everyone, and you know since since day one, like he really he took me under his wing. Really, like um, he's been like a like a second father figure to me. You know, so I, I got like a loving. Mum and dad, and then I uh, got my my second my second dad here. Yeah, he just he just really like pushes and 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 inspires me to to really you know pursue this. 
Alright, one minute. Now we're going to do 90 seconds. One more time, 90 seconds. Quillen as a fighter, he's, I think he's exceptional. So there's good guys, and then there's guys that are exceptional. Uh, Quill's in the exceptional range. He can do everything. He can strike, he can wrestle, he can grapple. Uh, he's got cardio, he's got all the, uh, all the attributes that are required to be an elite athlete. He's very humble. He'll go and help the day one beginner. A lot of guys get good and new guys walk in the gym and they, they just kind of brush off the new guy. Whereas Quill, uh, he'll take time uh, to introduce himself to the new guy. And the new guy wouldn't even know that this guy's the champion and how good this guy is because of the way he acts. He acts like a true champion. He's always willing to help people. He'll do his fight. And then after his fight, he'll be back in the gym helping a day one beginner a female, a male, it doesn't matter who, he's in there and he's always giving his best to everyone else in the team. When it's his time to compete, that's what he does, but when it's not his time to compete, he's in here giving his body and his time to other people as well. Everyone in this gym is hungry to fight. Everyone wants to compete. You know, I love I love being around other other people that really like want to push and really like yeah, hungry to compete. Like, you know, we're only only a small gym, but it gets packed out and everyone in there is is uh, you know, is dangerous and wants to wants to fight. down it's learning it's all learning guys you just got to be on the mat to practice good work today guys thank you all be here for yeah, make sure you shake each other's hands guys Joining me here fresh off some very exciting news he's going to share with us in the last 24 hours. You may have seen it on social media, but it's big news, so we're going to talk about it again. Quillen has got himself a fight booked on August 27th on the road to the UFC show in Singapore. Um, I got a you know, call from my, my manager, Jasmine Frank. She said she had some, you know, she had some news, you know. She got a she got an email from um from Sean Shelby saying there's a yeah, matchup offered. The non-tournament lightweight bout on the next road to UFC card. You know, I would have valid passport and can I make weight? And, you know, in the heartbeat, I said yes. I know with the performance I'm going to put on there, they're going to they're going to want me. I know the UFC is going to be really interested in me after this. So whether they want to, whatever, keep me on or I don't know, we'll come to that when it when it happens. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm going to I want to really open some eyes and turn some heads. was obviously very disappointing going all that way, making the weight and then an hour later getting pulled aside and uh, pretty much saying that, you know, my opportunity is, is gone and uh, my opponent's moving up to the main event spot because of, uh, you know, someone that uh, missed weight didn't make it like a professional. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks for your brother. And I mean, we're all shattered yeah. for you, of course. That uh, It had to be sort of you. And I mean, this is the sort of thing that I guess happens in MMA a lot for various different reasons. Yeah.
When I started training, it was always in the back of my mind, like, what would it be like to be, be a fighter? Like, that would be you know, such a cool thing. But it was, um, the, the main turning point was uh, really after my, my second amateur fight. It was like my first win. So, first amateur fight, I just wanted just to do it. Just like a, like a test myself, just because um, that's when I really started to, you know, really just wanted to like to better myself, just make me into like a like a man, you know. Like I wanted to get into like a proper like a fight, you know. After my first fight, you know, I lost decision, but you know, that wasn't didn't really feel like a loss to me because at the time it was just like just wanted to do it, and I was still like proud of myself. And then, you know, second fight I took on like three days notice. And I just thought, screw it, flew over to Brisbane, cut weight, um, yeah, fought, and um, it was yeah, really hard fought battle, and I ended up winning in the last round, and then just that, that feeling of being victorious, really like, you know, just from that moment, it was just like, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. MMA is very mentally demanding because, as well as being in shape, uh, you have to compete under pressure. It's just not natural uh, for people in modern day society to go into a cage and fight someone else. So mentally you have to get over that hurdle. So there's many factors to, towards competing and uh, MMA, the sport itself. I got into the sport through um, one of my friends. He uh, pretty much in uh, like high school. I went over to his house and we, we started playing the uh, like the UFC two game. And um, before that, I had no clue what what UFC was. I didn't even like hear of it at all. But um, yeah, so we started playing the game. He introduced me to it, and um, yeah, I thought it was a load of fun. And then he introduced me to um, like Conor McGregor and, and Nate Diaz. You know, at the time, they were, like the yeah, biggest two, you know, names in the sport probably still are to this day and then uh, anyway like a week later I uh, got the game for myself and I started playing it and then just through that I just started like becoming real interested in the sport really and then um, because I'm from Broome originally I moved down to Perth to, to play footy and then at the same time I started to to, um, to train like MMA because it was just yeah something I was I was interested in in the like the couple years leading up lost total interest in footy and then it was just like a total you know swap for for passions at the time and then um yeah now yeah never look back <laughs> When I'm, when I'm training now for, for Dom for the second time, I'm knowing a little bit what to expect. You know, I've already been in there, I've already felt his body, felt his presence, um, felt you know, some of the little, little things he, he does in there, little tricks. But um, at the same time, just training as if it's a you know, totally, totally new fighter. You know, it's, been, it's been quite a while, like a year and a, and a few months. At, um, you know, both of us are young guys, so a year you know, training and competing um, makes a makes a huge difference in our in our development. So, I'm expecting us to to be two different fighters in there.
I do feel the pressure and the stress because uh, for me I take this job seriously. If I didn't care about my guys and I didn't take the sport seriously then it would just be, oh let's go and have some fun. But um, for me it is fun, I enjoy it, I love what I do. But at the same time I know guys like Quill and Cody, this is their dream. I stand there trying to help them achieve their dreams and I feel if I don't then I'm a failure um, and I don't want to ever let my guys down so I give everything into this sport so that my guys can uh, go and achieve their dreams and um, anyone in the gym that comes to train under me I'm there in their corner all the way and I'll back them all the way so uh, I give everything uh, towards my guys in this sport so I do feel the pressure as well because you know it's uh, our reputation and my guys dreams on the line. I mean, we've been breaking records every time we go back to the HBF Stadium in Perth, Western Australia. Different personalities coming out there and putting it all on the line. So, uh, do we get a big upset and Don Muffan is the champion? Do we see Quill and Soul Kill defend for the second time? Fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 70.2 kilograms and trains under Steve Compton at a Team Compton training centre. Boasting a professional record, four wins, one loss. Fighting out of Brisbane, Australia. This is the challenger. Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 70.1 kilograms and trained under Ramel Luistro, out of Luistro Combat Academy. His professional record stands at five wins, one loss. 
fighting out of Perth, Australia, make some noise for the reigning, the defending, eternal lightweight champion, Quillard Salter! Any questions? That's clubs. Going up against Don Marfan, the reinvented street putter. Oh, Tom Marfan and early on the on the legs. Drives Quill and he's finished the takedown here. Dingerman with his back flat on the mat. I don't recall anyone being able to do that to the champ. Vicky's on the line, Quillen the defending champ. The oh. oh, right kick to left hand combination from Sakil. John Marfan takes it in a stride, and once again, John Marfan oh. hooks it, belly down. John Marfan, oh, 15 seconds into the second round, hands under the jaw. He hasn't got it, so he's uh, let it go. He's just softening him up. He's softening him up, Fred. He's just waiting for the right moment. He's seeing when if Don Marfan's ready to go. But uh, uh, again, along with the breakfast story, so far, Don Marfan has been able to uh, escape. But he's in danger again here. Yeah, just wearing him down, so killed with attempt after attempt, but hasn't yet to really commit to oh. one. That might be different. Two walks down. It's intense, Steve. It's, 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 I think it's all over I here. I think it is. is. Oh, Don Marfan clears the hand. Rears that set. Oh, over. longer for him to be watched mate I reckon he'll be sitting in the front of Dana's front living room soon with his feet up on the couch smoking a cigar Yeah, 
first round was pretty much just guard and yeah. yeah. And I, I respect the jiu jitsu now, so I should yeah. You respect the jiu jitsu? Yeah, because <laughs> so it's a black I should have no, I should have started like attacking <laughs> subs off my back like a yeah. bit earlier, then used it to scramble. Yeah. Uh, but they'd like to tick over now. Man, fingers crossed this UFC. I'm ready for that big time, the big show. You know, fighting in front of a big crowd. Hopefully, you know, the next contender series coming up. Um, you know, fingers crossed that uh, you know, they find me a matchup and give me give me my chance.